Hello and welcome. Today we will discuss topical agents from pharmaceutical chemistry 1. Learning outcomes. After completion of this video, students will be able to know, define and classify topical agents. Discuss protectives and adsorbents. Explain astringents and their actions. Topical agents. Generally, topical agents are the chemical substances which are applied on skin or body surface and these agents also applied within the body cavities that are open to outside for example oral cavity, vaginal cavity or colonic cavity. So topical agents are act locally on skin or body surface or mucous membrane. Inorganic topical agents are broadly categorized on the basis of their usual actions or use. It includes protectives and adsorbents, antimicrobials, astringent and miscellaneous compounds. So first class is protectives and adsorbents. The agents which are applied to skin to protect from irritation for example talc and zinc oxide. Second class is antimicrobials. The chemical agents are used to destroy or inhibit the growth of pathogenic microorganism are called antimicrobials. For example, hydrogen peroxide that is H2O2, potassium permanganate that is KMNO4. Next class is astringent. The agents which shows local or surface protein precipitant action are called as astringent. Very well known example is alum and zinc sulfate. And last class is miscellaneous compounds. It includes sulfur and its compounds. For example, precipitate sulfur. So this is the classification of inorganic topical agents includes protectives and adsorbents, antimicrobial agents, astringents and sulfur and its compounds. So let's discuss the protectives and adsorbents. Protectives, this word itself indicates it protects. These agents are applied to skins and mucous membrane to protect from irritation usually of physical and mechanical origin. And adsorbents are the chemical substances which are inert in nature which adsorbs or dissolved or suspended particles or gases, toxins, etc. For example, is talc, zinc oxide and calamine. Protectives and adsorbents are having capacity to form a layer which can protect the skins. The adsorption of skin moisture decreases the mechanical frictions and irritations. These layers adsorb the bacterial toxins and also protect skins from UV rays. So these protectives and adsorbents when you are applied on skin it will form a layer and that layer can adsorb the skin moistures. It will decrease the mechanical frictions and irritations as well as this layer or this coat is useful to protect the skin from UV rays or external environmental hazards. Ideal Properties of protectives and adsorbents. It should be biologically inactive, so it does not having any physiological action. It should be chemically inert and insoluble. Insolubility is very important characteristics of protectives and adsorbents. It should have a good adsorbent action. It should be adsorb the skin moistures, toxins, substances either from skins or from the external environment. It should have a small particle size. A fine particle size is recommended for the protectives and adsorbents. Protectives and adsorbent action is maximized with decreasing particle size because 
small particles offer a larger surface area which allow them to adhere better with each other and to the surface of skin it will absorb moisture more efficiently the fineness of the particles also makes the substance smooth and soothing to apply and it will helpful in preventing irritation due to rubbing or frictions so for that purpose protectives and adsorbents should have a small particle size application these protectives and adsorbents are helpful to protect the skin from sun rays it is used to protect the skin from bacterial toxins dust and dirt particles to protect skin from irritation and infection it will protect skin from ulcers and wounds from external hazards it will prevent the irritations and unwanted action on mucous membrane so this is the applications of protectives and adsorbents next class is astringent astringents are locally applied protein precipitants an astringent is a chemical that shrinks or constrict the body tissues astringents produce the local or surface protein precipitation by coagulation process very good example is alum and zinc sulfate generally astringent is a very dilute solution of metal cations positively charged ions which is used over a tissue it will leads to react with the protein molecule it will form a protein metal complex it will leads to local or surface action specially leading to shrinkage or constriction of skin or mucous membrane and that action is called as astringent action so astringents are locally surface precipitant means the metal ion reacts with protein it will form a protein metal complex and that complex leads to protein precipitation and this leads to shrinkage or constriction of body tissues and that action is called as astringent action so there are different types of astringent action first action is styptic action astringents has capability to cause bleeding to stop when it is applied to wound you know very well during shaving if the razors have a cut on skin immediately we have applied the alum because of its styptic action as it will able to stop the bleeding by shrinkage or constriction of blood capillaries it will reduce the pore size of the body so astringents are used to arrest the hemorrhage by promoting coagulation of blood and constricting small capillaries coagulation is promoted by the action of protein precipitation second action of astringent is antiperspirant a substance that is applied to skin to prevent or reduce the perspiration it will decrease the sweating by constriction of pores at the surface of skin so this is the antiperspirant action next is anti inflammatory actions anti inflammatory it will reduce the inflammation by restriction of blood supply to the surface of mucous membrane as you know astringents has ability to shrinkage or constrict the blood capillaries so it will reduce the blood supply to the affected area so as the blood supply is reduced so inflammation is always controlled so it is a anti inflammatory action last action is deodorant as astringents has ability to constrict the skin pores and it will able to destroy the body odor producing microorganism so astringent has mild antimicrobial activity so because of that it is useful as a deodorant so this is all about the astringent actions in this video we have discussed the definition and classification of topical agents we have explained the protectives and adsorbents we have seen the different astringent actions 
in next video we are going to discuss about inorganic antimicrobial agents thank you for watching this video